the last thing I'm going to say for today. Did somebody call some like extraordinary proceeding right now? And that's what we're dealing with. Because I saw the president's budget for the Department of Defense from last year, the one we should be working with right now. And pretty much if we called out this coronavirus fallacy for what it actually is, what we need had already been appropriated to and through the Department of Defense. But in November of last year, when people were trying to impeach the president, they made a specific sort of sneaky, sly deal. And it passed, which means it's not just about the Democrats sabotaging something. It needed enough bipartisan support to pass. It was an emergency appropriations bill specific to Medicare and Social Security and specific to the Department of Homeland Security in a manner that allowed for diversions from what would otherwise be considered pertinent national security interests were we to acknowledge that this is a war as opposed to it being fielded as some sort of health care response in order to aid and abet an illicit cover-up of Federal Reserve policy manipulating workers' rights. It's what it is. And, you know, you had a couple of years of this building up, right? You had when Congress did its thing in 2018, when you had the Democrats specifically getting in this imbroglio over the budget process and claiming that the president refused to sign the bill and because of that, 800,000 workers weren't getting paid when that was an absolute lie. The budgetary authority for that specific contract with federal workers had expired. It was on Congress to negotiate a new bill, a new law regarding compensation for federal workers. They neglected to do that. They just didn't do their job. And instead, they tried to launder stuff through the appropriations process. Other stuff that was going on was subterfuge for the fact that Congress refused to attend to its responsibility to either re-up the legislation as it existed or renegotiate the legislation that had to do with providing for federal workers. They didn't do it. In August of 2017, uh, it lapsed. And so by the time the 2008 year came along, there wasn't, there wasn't a contract. There wasn't a contract. And so all the stuff about him holding up the appropriations process and the federal workers going out, well, now how are federal workers getting paid? Because they didn't do what they were supposed to do. Is it because Congress lacked the budgetary authority overall and they were trying some alternative scheme as some sort of theater did they actually lose their budgetary authority? Did we literally go bankrupt in May of 2017? And this whole time it's just been a big farce? Because the timelines fit. So, you, you know, now we're in this situation where we're dealing with this COVID-19. The Federal Reserve has already orchestrated over the last eight, five years, at least the last five years that I've been able to track, this policy where they pretend like it's about workers' rights. You're talking about some of the wealthiest people in the world pretending like they're pissed off workers because they're not getting their rights attended to. And so actual people that are supposed to be working, where are they? Where are the actual people that had jobs? I haven't been able to get a job. Who's actually getting paid? We're supposed to volunteer after contrived emergency response requests concerning some kind of natural disaster. And then we're supposed to get on Medicare or Social Security or go get the assistance. How many people got this PPP crap going on? How many people got unemployment because they're not allowed to work? How many people are being centrally centralized and, 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 and harvested by the federal government? Well, you know, they're not allowed to work because we're still doing social distancing and all this other crap, right? The truth of the matter is Congress didn't do its job and actually pass legislation that was supposed to be the follow-up to the uh, expiration on a legislation concerning the standards for federal workers. You know what Congress did do? It's renegotiated presidential pension benefits that go into effect starting next year. It's renegotiated the congressional pension system. They took care of their bennies just fine, but they refused to pass legislation regarding supporting federal workers. Nobody's called that out this entire time. Nobody's called that out this entire freaking time. And in the meantime, what has happened is that there are a bunch of people manipulating this concept of workers' rights, and we just had the Supreme Court basically try to create a foundation for litigating sex workers' rights. 
I mean, I'm just saying. Uh, you know, I, I, I'm just saying. You know, you don't want it to go through the Department of Defense? What, you want it to go through the Department You think that your uh, sex partners are going to be sexier if they're from a foreign country? Right? I mean, I didn't agree to these terms either, but it doesn't mean that I get to change and fabricate reality in order to serve my purposes. If we, as a country, have to take responsibility, we have to be honest with what happened. And so when Congress started doing this thing, where it started lording the people at the, 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 the border and trying to leverage stuff with this uh, contrived situation around uh, federal workers, did anybody pay attention to the side deals that were being set up through the Department of State? 